Hello, magical creators out there. Uh, I'm recording this on Friday for the newsletter that's going out on Monday because this weekend is Thanksgiving in Canada and my man venture crew, we are heading off this island that I'm on onto another island. We're going way up into the mountains on Vancouver Island to uh, spend a couple days off grid exploring and having a much needed reset. And I hope you have some form of epic adventures planned in the coming days, weeks, or months, because it's always nice to have something like that to look forward to. And uh, on Mondays, typically, my Magic Mind community and I, we gather to schedule our success. We do a session, and uh, this Monday is going to be different because I'm away. And so I thought I'd share my usual planning process for the week uh, for our Magic Mind community members, as well as for all of you who are on the outside of that space. It's a pretty straightforward process, but for those of you who'd like to take a sneak peek into somebody who whose routine uh, as a high output creator, uh, some of you might glean some inspiration or clarity around how you could tighten up your Monday or Sunday planning sessions so you can really make the most out of this week because I'm running multiple businesses. I have a family. I play professional golf. I, I do fitness. I get to hang with my wife and my friends and and I am a strong believer in scheduling my success. And so here's some of the ways that I start my week, the questions that I ask myself and it's typically a very similar theme but sometimes just asked in a slightly different way. So let's dig in. Number 1, relationships. So which relationships will I reach out to, cultivate, engage with or seek out this week? Business and life are all about relationships. And so I aim to come up with a list of at least three new names to book meetings with, reach out to for potential signature workshops, uh, hosting, or bringing them into my community, or just to spark new partnership possibilities. And when old contacts pop into my head, like somebody I met at an event or somebody that I slept on their couch 10 years ago that we had a connection, I always make an effort to reach out to them. I'll send them an email, a text, or I'll call them out of the blue. And this is often met with delight and surprises and rekindled friendships or business alliances. So that's something to pay attention to. If somebody pops in your head, don't just let that pass. Reach out to them, see how they're doing. And if there's more than three names you can come up with at the beginning of the week, great. But I always ensure I'm initiating at least three new conversations leading to positive outcomes for all. Number two, Adding value. This is the second thing I schedule for my week. What content will I create to bring value to my audience and give them more reasons to follow my work? These days, I aim to send two to three newsletters per week. You may think that's a lot, but think of the average person on social media. They may be posting one or two or three times a day. I don't do social media, so for me, three times a week feels great. It's been a blast coming up with stories and articles, videos, content, teaching opportunities. Uh, clips from my coaching sessions, et cetera, on a more regular basis. And guess what? I'm getting way more people replying to my emails than ever before. So that's a super cool side effect of just sharing more. I'm more in people's consciousness. People are more focused on me showing up than say other people that are in their inbox. And my creative process for content creation, which I'm going to get into in another article, but I'll either write an article and then record the video and podcast of me reading it, similar to this one. I'll leave space for improv improvisation like this moment right now, or I'll take the recordings of my coaching sessions and I will turn that into a YouTube video and podcast. And then I'll go into Descript with that video and I will create a transcript. And then I'll use something like ChatGPT to help just edit that transcript so that it makes more sense and is more catered to an article. And then I'll send that out as a newsletter. Those are my two content strategies for supporting people like you watching this right now or reading it. Uh, the third thing that I'm asking every week is what will I do to generate revenue this week? This is not a hobby. We are entrepreneurs. We need to make money so that we can grow our dreams. We can invest in our creative projects and our passions. And so you know, questions I might ask is like, what I'll do to generate revenue this week? How many 15 minute coaching sessions can I offer? If I'm leading a thriving in business with a social media workshop, how can I improve my pitch at the end? Do I need to add more slides, take away slides? Are there proposals I need to think about sending? Are there any new grant or investor leads I need to follow up with or apply for? Uh, you know, my goal is to aim to come up with at least a few actionable items to generate more money this week. 
The fourth thing is creative projects. So what long-term project would I feel great if I tended to it this week? It could be working on a new Magic Kids story, prepping slides for my next signature workshop session, or one of my favorites, writing comedy commercials. Speaking of which, here's a little interlude. Uh, the end of October, I am beginning a five-week write and create your first comedy commercial training. Uh, it's very affordable and it's going to be a ridiculously good time for all of you who would like to create a comedy commercial for your product, your service, your workshop, your training, etc. Uh, so check that out. There's a link in the notes here, uh, wherever you're watching or reading or listening to this. So these are typically the things to get that get pushed aside. So like these creative projects, so they're, they're big projects that may take a long time to actually create. And so I aim to have at least an hour or more per week devoted to these creative projects, which bring joy and feed into the ultimate future I'm intending to create. And the fifth thing is self-care. I'm pretty darn good at taking care of my body and my mind. I do breath work and stretching before playing sunrise golf every day. And these days, because of daylight, I have to jog the course. So that's extra exercise. Uh, I get into cold water at least once every three days. I get my butt kicked in the gym a couple times a week and usually work out on my own as well. But what about you? Do you have a disciplined rhythm and routine in your life to stay on top of your health and game? If not, block off the things you know you need to do to be at your best. Because the more you're in your superhero presence and power, the more magnetic you become. People will be like, I want some of that energy. What do I do to be like that? So once you have these questions mapped out in your notebook or in your inside of a, a document, block off your times. Once you've answered these questions, you want to prioritize the tasks of the week. Go through your calendar and block off times. You'll take care of these items. This ensures you show up to those time blocks fully focused on the task at hand, which makes it much harder to float around on social media and YouTube and waste a whole bunch of your precious time where you could be doing more fun things. It also ensures you're taking care of all the things that a responsible entrepreneur and creator know they need to do to become the best you you can be and build the life and business of your dreams. So in summary, start your Mondays with 30 minutes of focus on these questions. Who am I excited to connect with and reach out to this week? What value am I excited to provide for my audience this week? What ways am I excited to generate revenue for my life and business this week? What creative long-term projects am I excited to give my focus to this week? And what ways am I excited to take care of my body, mind, and spirit this week? Notice how I use excited with each of these questions. Focus on what excites you and you become more alive in the ways that, in ways that just you don't when you're just checking things off a list because you have to do it to move forward. When you focus on what excites you, your life will lead you in a magical new direction. When you focus on what excites you, all the other stuff that drains you will start to fall away because you become better and more electric in your energy. When you focus on what excites you, you will be jumping out of bed before the alarm goes off in the morning, ready to get the party started. Trust me, I know from experience, I have built a career around following what's, what excites me and you can do the same thing. There is money, there is prosperity, there is service in doing the things that excite you. So put it in your calendar. That's all from today. I hope you're enjoying. You're new now. Stay awesome, stay excited and schedule your success this week. Let me know how it goes.